there! Ah, looks like 7 Days has released yet another issue, so I'm going to release some more opinions. In this week's WTF column, we attempted to answer what is probably the hardest hitting question we've ever received from a reader. And it had to do with Mountain Brew Ice, which is a beer made by Stewart Shops. If you look at the can, you notice a bunch of icons down near the bottom that appear to depict various sporting activities, but one of them kind of looks like a dude vomiting or uh, tossing his cookies, which of course begs the question, is that a dude puking on your can? Now we reached out to Stewart Shops about this, but they were unable to provide us with a definitive answer, so we have no choice but to take matters into our own hands. So I've assembled a team of beverage specialists, and we're going to try and answer this once and for all in the best way we know how. So uh, please join us. And we're going to go outside for this one, because it might get a little messy. All right, please do not attempt to do what you're about to see at home. These are all trained professionals. Colby, Jordan, and Di are going to shotgun a Mountain Brew Ice to see if it actually does make you puke. I'm going to serve as this experiment's control by casually sipping a Pichurita. <laughs> Mountain Brew Ice, are you ready? Yep. Wait. To science. Oh my god! <laughs> Why would you put that Whoa. in a can? Oh Blah. my god! Oh, it's awful! Oh, really bad it's here. so bad! Oh. I think it's kind of nice! The results are inconclusive. Oh. Well, I tried them. A fake journalist, not a scientist. There is a film festival heading to Burlington that's trying to change the way we look at pornography, which... I'm all for trying new things, but I am kind of digging the iPhone in bed play. It's just very relaxing. It's called the Hump Film Festival, and it's coming to uh, Merrill's Roxy Cinemas on October 18th and 19th. So for 20 or $25, you can watch porn on the big screen in a room filled with strangers. Now, this isn't the type of porn you find for free on your phone. This is porn made by non-porn stars like you and me, as far as we know. And it's a cornucopia of different body types, and colors, and genders, and sexualities, kinks, and fetishes. It's all united under a common theme of sex positivity. Who knows, you might find something new that turns you on. And if you're the type of person who's worried you can't watch porn in a public theater without pulling a Pee Wee Herman and getting yourself arrested or elected president, don't worry. You can also star on your own. Hump is now accepting submissions for its 2018 festival, so stop wasting precious time and start humping one another. Just be sure to film it, because it could end up on the big screen. Now sometimes when two people hump each other, they fall in love and start a relationship. Sometimes it even happens in the opposite order. No matter how you get there, one thing's for certain, breaking up sucks. And from what I'm told, it's even worse when you're married. But thanks to one Rutland lawyer, getting a divorce sucks slightly less. Chris Larson is a divorce coach who helps people separate for pretty much just the cost of filing paperwork, usually less than $100. It's a terrible business model, but he does it because he enjoys it and wants to help people, which, imagine that. It's usually wealthier couples who actually have assets worth fighting over. But for all the rest of us who are like, Fine, Debra, you can keep the combination VCR DVD player. I just want my life back. This is a great solution. So, to recap this episode, shotgun a beer, responsibly, hump somebody, consensually, fall in love and get married, eventually, and know that if it does all fall apart, Chris Larson's gonna get you out of it on the cheap. Your broken heart doesn't have to break the bank. Well, that's all the time we have this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell that dude two cubicles over. Like, hey, Jimmy! This is a thing. Anyway, we'll see you next time.